Greetings and welcome back. Uh, today we have an exciting story to tell you. There was a man and a woman who got married. The man was a more senior man. However, the woman who he got married to was young and in her prime. So they got married in one country. They moved to another country to have a, a vacation exercise. While on vacation or the honeymoon as they call it in 2023, but the year is not the 2023 when this occurred, it occurred before. But uh, while they were there in a particular Caribbean island, the man nullified his marriage because in that country only one party is needed to sign. However, a few years went by and the woman decided to file for a divorce. Guess why she wanted to file for a divorce? Because this man was wealthy. This man had a lot of means. But guess what? She found out that she was never married to this man. So she was entitled to nothing. So she felt like she was swindled. But was she? Or was it a mirage of a marriage? So today we are going to go back once again into the concept of marriage or mirage. I hope that you're getting yourself ready to indulge in this exciting session with us. But today we're going to be starting out with the word of God. So we turn our attention right now to Proverbs 24 and verses 3 through 5. It says, By wisdom a house is built, and a true understanding it is established. Through knowledge its rooms are filled with rare and beautiful treasures. I want you to understand exactly what is happening. It speaks about wisdom, it speaks about knowledge, and it speaks about understanding. And if we remember the wisest man, those are the three things that he actually desired. Wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. So, the marriage is important because by wisdom is a house built so this is basically saying to us that if you want a good woman as a man you will have to seek after a woman that is operating in accordance to right and righteous living as a woman if you want a man that is operating in righteousness you would have to also present yourself and operate in a similar manner because can two walk unless they agree so in wisdom is a house built so marriage should not be taken lightly you have to be wise in order to select the right partner so as you can build a legacy as a woman you can help your man to build a legacy you can allow him to plant seed in you as you produce it and you build it together not only building for yourself only but to share with the community and those around yes because god loves to share and because we are reflecting his goodness we also have to share with the community we have to share with society we have to let them know how good it is to be on the authority how good it is to have a covering of protection how good it is when god is in the relationship so yes by wisdom a house is built and through understanding it is established so you have to have the wisdom in order to know that you need god in order to build a house that is worthy and a house that will stand the test of time you need understanding to establish that which needs to be built so if you don't understand what you need then you will not get what you desire because you have to understand it so you can establish it and if you don't establish it it can't be built so we have to understand exactly what is happening but it goes first it says true knowledge its rooms are filled so after you have established it and you want to fill up the rooms with your children and all this kind of stuff you have to have the knowledge you have to know how to secure that house you have to know how to ensure that everything is in working order and that is why it is important that you get guidance if you don't know certain information and not just getting guidance from any and everybody 
because not everyone is walking in accordance to the will of God. Not everybody is walking in accordance to the divine. Not everybody is giving advice that is in your best interest. Some person are giving you advice that they can get money out of your pocket. But no, no, no. That's not what we are about. We are about giving you advice because your life can be better and not bitter. We don't want you to have troubles. We don't want you to have heartache. We don't want you to have problems. We, we just want you to experience the goodness of God in your relationship and in your lifetime. A lot of persons in the world will tell that marriage is hard. That is a lie. Marriage, when done right from the foundation, is not hard. Marriage is actually the easy part. Finding the right person, that is the hard part. Finding a woman, a wife in 2023 and beyond is going to be harder than ever before. Because the woman minds have been corrupted, especially in the Western world. So you are going to understand that if you follow these concepts that we are giving to you, your husband is going to be most pleased. Because you are going to be like Ruby. You're going to be like a, a pure gem. You are going to be so different from everyone else that you would have encountered. Because we are living in a society that is sick. That has gone wayward from the commands of God. But we want you to have the advantage. And that is why you are here. Now let us move a little further as we try to expound uh, some more, another translation says, uh, True wisdom is a house built, and understanding it is established, and the knowledge shall its chamber be filled with all precious and pleasant riches. Number five says, or verse five says, A wise man is strong, yea, a man of knowledge increaseth strength. So if you don't have knowledge, you cannot be strong. Because when you're in darkness, when you're in ignorance, you make mistakes that you don't need to make. And when you make those mistakes, it costs you time. It costs you money. It costs you resources. It costs you emotional stability. It costs you heartache. It costs you all these kind of things. It, it costs you to be defiled. It causes you to be corrupted. You don't need to experience that. Other persons have experienced the negative impacts of the social construct already. That means that you don't need to experience that. Just abide by the principles so that you can experience a life that is pleasing to you, to your family, to your husband. And you can just reflect the goodness of God, your maker, your king. Yes. So when we examine these concepts, uh, uh, do not become concerned with the diabolic opposition of the culture. I pray for that which is outlined. All right. So whatever is outlined here, this is what I want you to follow. Don't allow the culture to come and cloud your judgment because that is all the culture is good for. When you follow the culture, you will have all the problems that the culture possesses. And I don't want you to have problems because when you're in marriage, you're supposed to tackle in situations, but not to having problems inside. You can deal with things from inside out, but you don't want to carry problems into your relationship. So you need to ensure that your uh, marriage, your foundation, your election to be selected as a woman is in good order. It is based on good judgment and not based on feelings because feelings change because feelings are just hormones circulating to give you that uh, sensation and those hormones dissipate over time. So we don't want to build a relationship on feelings. We want to build a relationship on principle. And that there is what is the distinctive factor in relationship that lasts and relationship that fades away because it fades away like the feelings. So let us continue. It says, when you follow the culture, you will have the problem that the culture have, that the culture possesses. Yes, have you ever seen those celebrities having five, six, seven marriages? What manner of goodness can they be experienced with five, six, seven women? 
that they claim to be married to and then they are divorcing. Do you want to have a failed situation where you are marriage, getting married and then you're divorcing, you're getting married? That there is failure. That there is not success. So the amount of money that you have does not guarantee you success. Because if you have money and you don't have the right principles, you're going to lose everything. I have seen this time and time again. So the, the idea is... You need to focus on what is important to you. If, if a relationship is important to you, if you want to have a, a, a legacy and you want to have a family structure that is representative of that which is ideal, then you need to be here. And I'm glad that you are here to learn how we can move into that. You certainly don't want to, to experience what they want to to, to what they have been experiencing, but they can allow you to experience the, the money that they are having. It yes, they may have the experience in that regard, but I would hesitate a little bit to say not all of your famous artists, your artists that may have a lot or claim to have a lot of money, actually have a lot of money. They may have a lot of debt, but not necessarily a lot of money. And not uh, all the wealth were obtained by things that you as a righteous person would be willing to do. Not everyone wants to bend over in positions which are unnatural to allow uh, exits to become entries. Not everyone wants to do that. And I'm sure that you don't want your husband to be found in those capacities. So let us let them keep their money as well. And I'm going to teach you how to righteously garner resources and, and get out the best that is within you. So just stick around with us. The idiomatic expression of the scripture refers to the host being married. So we're just going to be dissecting the script. That's all we're going to be doing in this session. The idiomatic expression of the scripture refers to the house of being married. Yes, being married. Establishing means it is under the covenant shall relationship. So it's not under contractual agreement. Yes. And the chambers or the rooms being filled refers to the atmosphere. Can you imagine being in a house and you're not comfortable to be there? When you, you finish working, you don't even want to go home. You're waiting until your wife is asleep. That there is not a relationship that you want to be in. That there is not a place that you want to go. So that is something that we have to, to be mindful of. And the Bible even speaks about it, that it is better to live in the corner of the house and eat vegetable. Or in another scripture, it says it's better to live on the rooftop than to be in a relationship with a cantankerous woman. So, so these are some things that we have to really consider. You don't want, uh, when you decide to get married, you find it difficult to go home. No, 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 no. As the wife, you should already be at home. But as a man, you don't want the man not wanting to come home. And as a wife, if your husband is at home, you should be in joy, you should be in jubilation to go home to him, to serve him, to please him. Because you understand the assignment, the commission that has been placed over your life. And as such, you'll be operating in accordance to that guidance. And then, guess what? In some relationship, you have people falling asleep on different beds. Yes, different beds. You have this big house and the toy you sleeping in different. I don't believe that that is right nor righteous. Let not the sun go down on your wrath. So if you have a, or a disagreement, when the sun sets, a new day has dawned. It means then that all that should have been dealt with amicably because you have to be in oneness because when you're not in one accord the devil will come and divide and you don't want that in your relationship we have to understand that the atmosphere is everything and that is why we try to be as humble as possible as we learn together as individuals we have to uh, consider the society that they are contrary to the design of God. They tell you and give you all these ideas of fantasy, but these fantasies never last because they were never built on solid foundation. But today I want to give you some guidance that not everything that you hear in the media, not everything that uh, they present to you as being good is actually good for you. Let us consider it. The food that they are manufacturing doesn't even have the necessary nutritional benefits 
as the organic, the pure food that is naturally occurring. However, they are selling to you at a cheaper price, but the cheaper price initially is going to cause long-term detriment. And we don't want that for you. We want you to build a solid foundation so that you can reap the rewards of that foundation. So your marriage can stand the test of time. So when a hurricane comes, a tsunami comes, a fire comes, whatever comes with God, your marriage will stand firm. That is where we're going to be pausing this session as we allow you a moment in time to digest that which has been presented. It is a hope that you were blessed by the conversation. And as always, be the best wife that you can be. Be that wife that you were meant to be. Until next time, signing out.